it's like you're writing in a notebook, but you are able to kind of erase whenever you want. You can highlight using the same pen, and wherever you make a mistake, it's easy to just fix. Saving the notes and opening them at home at all? Yeah, it's really useful that way because, I mean, I can save them and I can also, like, email them to my account and stuff like that if need be. And uh, it's it helps me for when I need to study for, like, all my I'm courses. sitting back there. Hey, you can see it all the time. And, like, let's say like, there's some people who don't like actually using the computers. For them, usually they're taking notes and I just pass my laptop over them, but I can still follow your lesson on here. Mm -hmm. So, like, gives you the option whether you want to write or you just want to follow along and write your own notes. Mm -hmm. That's really helpful. And at the same time, you're also able, like, class is more efficient because the teacher's not having to get up and write on the whiteboard and then go sit back down to check the lesson and stuff like that. You mm -hmm. can teach it all from there and never have to worry about kind of the teacher worrying where they're standing if they're in the way of what we're learning. Because mm -hmm. I know in some classes, when they put the PowerPoint up, the teacher usually wants to stand in the middle of the classroom to give the lecture. Yeah. And that kind of blocks it, sets like a blind spot for one side. It's really comfortable. I like it because as opposed to like a paper with a ring binder, yeah. uh, my hand's always restricted from writing across the page or I'm smearing pen or pencil, which is really, really annoying. But um, on here, if I make a mistake, like Blake said before, you just erase it really quickly. And at the same time, it's very like versatile. So I can flip it here and there's no like restrictions from my hand whatsoever. What is it like to learn with the, the tablet versus? Traditional old math class. Um, I like the tablet because it's it makes it a lot easier for people to learn than um, than traditional pens and paper. Uh, especially with the program that we use, you can say whether or not you're getting it, or if you're somewhat getting it, or if you don't understand at all, then the teacher can stop and go back and try to catch up on or try to explain to you where you got lost. Um, and they just have to write everything just on, the, on their tablet and transfers to yours right away instead of having to just look up at a board all day, which gets kind of repetitive. A lot better with this than I actually write on paper. I don't know how that can be possible, but I find that my handwriting is a little more legible. So when I actually look at my work again, I can actually see what I'm actually writing, not mistake, you know, a certain number for another number. Afterward, after, well, basically the teacher will post a question give you like uh, an example of it and then you have to apply it yourself onto here and uh, I like it because yeah you give your feedback through selecting your status under school like saying you understand a lot seldom or not at all and um, yeah so it really helps the teacher like focus on your needs as well as everyone else in the class because they get like an overview through the computer which is nice. My name is Lisa Koster. I'm a professor at Conestoga College Institute for Technology and Advanced Learning. I'm going to be speaking to you about our business math at Conestoga project, Math is Everyone's Business. In order for students to be engaged in their learning, they need to feel that what they're learning will be useful to them in their careers. So often we hear from students, when am I ever going to use this? Before the Business Math at Conestoga project, we had poor performance in our first year Business Math classes. Students had a negative attitude towards math. The dropout rates were high. As soon as students would do poorly on their first test, they would drop the class or they would drop out of the program entirely. Students saw very little connection between, between math and their everyday life. They just didn't see the connection of what they were learning. The Business Math at Conestoga project uses technology to create an engaging and collaborative environment for the students. We use a software product called Dino, which is interactive and allows students to tell the teacher if they understand, and it allows the teacher to be monitoring what's going on in the classroom. We also connect learning to real business application through Conestoga's Center for Entrepreneurship. As part of our project, we're also doing a small research project that studies the effect of tablet use as well as the exposure to real-life applications of math on the grades and overall attitudes towards math. In the first year of our project, we, we created a business math lab at our Dune campus. We received our laptops in November of 2011. We started using them in our classes right away but they, students only really got exposure for two or three weeks. So as of January, we've fully rolled the, this the project out to five classes, and they've been using them since the first of the, the year. 
we have specific target groups that we've chosen. They are our first year business math classes in the general business and business foundations program. These students traditionally have a harder time with math and we felt that they could Im be impacted the greatest by this project. We utilize technology both in and out of class. So we have our tablets in class. We have a smart board in the class. We also use online tools and videos to help support the students outside of class. The use of the Dino software allows the students to actually access their personal notes at home. So if they've made notes throughout the class on their own personal area, they can save them to their G drive and access them at home. So basically our two key components of our project are the use of technology and establishing the, the vital link between math, business and entrepreneurship. It's very important to make that connection of what they're learning to the real life. This is a couple pictures here of our, our mobile lab. We received 60 tablet computers. We bought two mobile laptop charging carts. We received an HP printer. Students can print their notes if they don't uh, have a computer at home, uh, if they don't have access to the internet. They can print their uh, notes and bring them home with them. Okay, our room is shared, so other classes are taught in their room. So these um, charging carts are locked uh, every after every class. So we have, we have five classes that are involved and that represents approximately 150 students. So what's happening as a result? Col there's much more collaboration in class. Students are helping each other. They're naturally, you know, looking at each other's screens and, and when they're, if they're not sure what's going on, they're not afraid to ask each other. And they're, and the students, as you can see in the pictures, are actually helping each other um, to, to solve the problems. There's more involvement in the classroom. Students are more actively participating. Uh, you know, in the past we'd have you know one or two people that would actually be uh, answering questions. Now some some of the quieter students are putting their hands up or they're offering to uh, solve the problem on the the tablet for for everyone to see. They're asking the questions that need to be asked and they're getting um, the answers. We also offer online help sessions, um, and this allows students to get access outside of class. Many of them don't do their homework during the day. They're doing them at night, so this, when they need the help is at night. So by offering them online help sessions where we have a whiteboard and students can log in, they can type their questions, uh, and depending on how many students are present, we can activate the microphones so that they can speak. Um, by giving them the opportunity to get that help also improves their marks. Um, and what started out at the beginning of the semester, last uh, semester with only one or two students showing up, by the end of the semester, um, I had up to 17 students on it all at one, at one time. So st and students are actually requesting these online sessions. So rather than waiting for me to say, okay, I'm gonna do online on Tuesday night at nine, they're asking for it, especially before tests. So what is our goal? Fostering a student-centered learning environment. It's important that students are um, take initiative for their own um, learning. Okay, we, it's important that they don't just always depend on the teacher to tell them the answer. We want to change their attitude towards math. We want them to encourage them that they can do it and, they, and that they have the ability to do it. We want better results and higher pass rates and we want more confident students. It's important that students know that they can do it and so that they will be willing to try. And we also want to connect that math concept to the real life business applications that they're going to be using as part of their business program and future life. We have a number of essential components that will determine the success of our project. First is the willingness of the students to take ownership of their learning. If students aren't uh, doing what they need to do out of the classroom, it, it becomes very difficult to be, no matter how good your teaching is, if they're not practicing and they're not doing their part, um, it's not they're not going to be successful. So it's important that they take ownership of their learning. And if, if part of the learning is that they go and watch a video and, and learn the concept and then come in and apply it, that's uh, an important aspect. Um, there's a number of online help and resources that are available to them and it's important that they actually go search them, search, not search them out, but actually use them as provided. We also need buy-in from the faculty. 
if, if the faculty is not convinced that the computers, and the tablets, and the, and the things that we are doing have any relevance to the success of the students, the students are not are going to succeed, see that and not pick up on that. And they're all they need to be have a willingness to learn not only the how to use the technology, but they need the proper attitude. Okay, and they also need to learn how to use the, the technology as intended. If they're only using the tech the project or products for one note and then they go and do more on the board it's confusing for the students so it's important that um, teachers are taught how to use the technology to the be its best advantage and as it's intended other issues we have technical issues um, setting up a lab of tablets versus desktops desktops are plugged in at all times um, they're you know far less mobile um, the we have things like power. You know, we have the if the char if the charge is not long enough for the classes, then the batteries run the, the batteries run down and the and the tablets can't be used. Whereas desktops are always plugged in. Um, what because they're wireless rather than wired. If you have peak times, that could slow down your whole lesson. The, um, the classroom we have is shared, so it limits how often we can offer this project and the number of classes that can be part of it. We also have. Um, an issue with managing the computers because each computer is used by multiple students uh, we have to keep keep on track to make sure that students are not abusing them not eating food and making mess breaking them things like that so where do we go from here in year two we plan to add more math classes so extend our project to more business math classes and a more variety of business math classes we want to further connections to the entrepreneurship center we plan to create a mini lab so that we can develop financial literacy workshops and entrepreneurial workshops using the tablet technology. Other possible projects that could be extended from our COP project is the creation of a video library of clips of entrepreneurs discussing use of math in their business. So we could be having the entrepreneurs talk about very specific topics so that as teachers are going through a particular uh, se section of the course, they can pull a video that relates to that type of math that they're teaching and how it's used in business. We'd also like to create professional development for teachers to help them learn how to use technology in their classroom to its fullest potential. So utilizing the, tech the tablets and the technology that we have in our lab um, to teach uh, teachers that are in other disciplines and other areas of our college as well as other areas of the business faculty. We also intend to collaborate with other business math students from across the globe. We've discussed um, with a number of different colleges and universities to connect our students so that they can discuss uh, math in everyday life and perhaps participate in cross-college projects uh, across the world.